Hi everyone, in this video we will create mockups for our Figma designs in Artboard Studio. First, I'm just selecting all the screen designs one by one inside Figma and export them. And later on, I will come for the dark mode and export them. Now, I selected all those screens. And if I go to the export section on the right side, but it says export 15 layers. So I have 15 screen designs as light mode. Downloaded the zip file. Now I'm going to the right side of the Figma and I'm just selecting all of the same screens for the dark mode. You can select up, I, I don't know, it's up to you. If you have a hundred design, doesn't matter. Artburst churches can handle any amount of uh, screen designs for generating mockups for you. Again, going to the export section and downloading this zip file too. First, I'm going to my zip files and I'm just unzipping all of them like this. So this one goes for the dark and this folder goes for the light mode. Okay, now switching to Artboard Studio application. Let's go to the left uh, toolbar, add items menu and go to the mockup section here and go to electronics category to see what mockups available in Artboard Studio for my UI design. For this design, I'm just importing a straight iPhone mockup. I'm also importing a right side weave, also importing a left side weave iPhone mockups. For just seeing the screen clearly, just adding some random field colors for those devices. Also, I can put them all together like this because I will generate uh, different mockups and the generation always goes to the right sidebar. So I, I'm just being sure the right side of our, our mockups are empty. Now I just need to go to the left toolbar again and choose the data source tool, which is table. I can draw an empty table or I can bring my Google Sheets. So the shortcut also is B for this tool. I'm just drawing a table like this. Let me scale up this table a little bit more. And also changing the format from text to media. Media means you can put videos or images inside those uh, cells and table. Then I just double click and it opens up my media picker. So I can pick images from my canvas. Let's say you just pasted all images from Figma to Artboard to your canvas, then you can also pick one by one, or you can choose upload and insert. Or if you have any URL for your image, you can use a URL. I'm choosing upload and insert because I downloaded the file on my computer. Let's go with the um, light mode first. So I'm going to this folder and choosing all the images exported from Figma. As I mentioned before, it doesn't really matter how many designs you have. Artboard can handle hundreds or thousands of images to generate mockups. Choosing all of those images and just hitting open. Now it just uploaded all the images and placed on the table. If I zoom in too much, I can also see a little preview which images uh, uploaded. And now I, all I need to do is connecting this table, all the images, all the 15 images to the customization artboard. But first I need at least one media, video or image to connect the table to the customization artboard. For that, again, I'm going back to Figma. I'm just choosing any image from here. You can right click and say copy as PNG or directly command and see if it's an image already. Coming back to Artboard and pasting here. You can also copy and paste easily from Figma to Artboard Studio. Just placing this design into the customization Artboard and resizing, already it renders instantly whatever on my customization Artboard in real time like this. Doing the same for other mockups too. Let's uh, go to this one and paste the same image again. Just center and resize and fit the design inside the phone screen. Again, placing it and resizing. Now, this image is really doesn't matter because I just need a media inside this customization artboard. If I am working with videos to automate, I need a video. If I'm working with images, I need an image. Choosing the table here and dragging the, getting this handle and connecting this to this image. 
So now if I do some changes, as you see, the image changed and based on the first one. So my first image is this UI design and it instantly renders on the phone screen. Well, now it's time to automate the designs. But if I select the table and say this thing artboards, it will generate only this left side view mockup for me. But I can also connect this table to multiple media elements on artboard. So I'm just uh, moving the table below. Let me scale up the table a little bit to see it much clearer and clean up like this. Also, I'm connecting this table to the, this image and also connecting this to, for the last one, to this image. Just make some little change to update. Sometimes it's just caching and not updating. But now what I just did is connecting this table image assets, all of those images, so they are affecting the iPhone mockup items. If I go uh, select the table and go to the Sync Artboards button on the right tab, it's just going to generate 15 mockups for my designs with different device mockups. Now, if I zoom in, it already generated. Let me press Shift and want to see all generated phones. As you see, it generated the same mockup with different screen designs, and they are all coming from the table here. Now, we did that for the light UI team. Let's say you want to do the same with different mockup for the dark team. Again, going to the left uh, mockups menu here, but this time I'm going to choose a top view, uh, I don't know, the mockup item from the top view or perspective. Let's say uh, I want to go with some kind, some sort of an isometric perspective. For that, I'm just placing this mockup item into my canvas down all the uh, mockups just going to repeat the same steps but again i need an image a media layer first in my customization artboard to replace now for temporarily i just put this image here and again pressing b and creating a table changing the format to uh, media double click and choose the folder but this time i'm going to choose the dark mode designs i'm just selecting all of them and saying open Again, it's uploading and placing it to the table. Now all I need to do is moving this table down there and connecting the table to the media. And as you see, it instantly renders the new design on my phone screen. So because this is a perspective scene, it's not a, uh, it has a surface, it's had a glass on the background. You can even create compositions for those mock-up items. Let's say I want to put this mock-up item inside this and I want a different background color. Maybe I can get the color from my UI design. It's all up to you. You can also choose linear gradient options and let's change the uh, contrast a little bit here. It's all up to you. The limit is your creativity. So let's say this is my mock-up composition and I want to see other screen designs also with that mock-up setup again i'm just selecting the table because i connected the, connected this table to the image element if i say sync artboards it's going to generate uh, all different mockups for different screen designs with the same uh, composition with the same artboard yeah this is basically how you can automate your mockup creation process without making one by one mockups and as you may know, we already have a Figma plugin. You can also do the same with our plugin, with our Artboard Studio Mockups plugin. You can just uh, import exact same mockups inside Figma and create mockups out of that. But you don't have this automation feature. Plus, you don't have this real-time rendering feature. Let me show you how it works. Let's say I want to use this mockup in Figma. Just move this a little bit here. In Figma, I just need to place the design again inside the frame. We call them artboard, Figma call them frame, doesn't matter, that's the same thing. Then I need to select the artboard, uh, select the frame, then go to the plugin and say render selected frame button here. So again, I can create mockups inside Figma like this 
And as you see, I also have access to all layers, like the main image, I can even separate and have all control in Figma. But as you see, it's not real-time rendering. If I change this image position, let's say like this, it is not rendering. I have to select the frame again, go to render selected frame button again and again. But in Artboard, let me switch back to Artboard Studio. If I make a change on my design, it renders in real time. Let's say I want to apply a different uh, background color. I don't need to press the render button again and again because in Artboard Studio, you already have have infinite cameras like Figma, but because we already built the art pursuit in a purpose of the mockups are natively coming together, you have real-time rendering option, you have animation options too. Let's say I got lots of mockups on my canvas right now for all of the designs I have, and I can easily just create an artboard with any size. Let's say I wanna create an Instagram story, an animated story for my mockup to promote my design, I can easily create animations. Because the iPhone mockup is too big, it just not showing inside. I'm just moving this inside the artboard, scale down a little bit. Let's say you want to create a subtle animation for this presentation. All, I, all you need to do is just selecting the artboard, enabling the animation mode, and then after you enable the animation mode, whatever you do on your canvas, you can change the position, rotate the device, I don't know, scale up or down, anything you do on your canvas, just creating keyframes. But those are starting keyframes. So you need another keyframe in another time to make the motion. Now I created my keyframes for the first position. This is my first stage. Let's say I want this phone to come from here in two seconds, changing my time to two seconds, come here and just rotate perfectly, scale down a little bit, and stay on the center of my artboard. So as you see, while I'm positioning, rotating, and resizing the phone, it already automatically created my second keyframes, which means if you have two keyframes, you have the motion. If I play, press the play icon, you see I already created the motion for this device. On top of that, if you're dealing with more motion design, uh, if you are after some professional results, you can also create keyframes, easing options, and you can even customize those easing options, which gives you smoother transitions for your animations. And you are just by pressing the start animation mode, you can just stop the animation mode and you just turn it into a design mode. And always you can collapse this timeline be behind. You can always extend it or close it. Now you are in design mode. Let's say you want to apply a different background color for that design, for this uh, animation. Go ahead and do that. Now your animation has a back gradient background like this. So this is how you create tons of mockups for all of your screen designs in Figma in Artboard Studio. Take care. Bye.